Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick review on the Mike Bartos Power Center Pro Economy Farmer Handle. These are made in the USA at Mike Bartos Power Center, which is up in Ohio. They are a top loading style farmer implement. And if I'm being really honest, they're really kind of a cool new thing that he's offering. If you go back and you look on the Power Center website, you'll see that there is an offering for a competition style farmer handle. That one is actually 60, no, sorry, 30 pounds, 60 pounds for the set, 30 pounds he uh, heavier per handle. What Mike Bartos has done is he's actually taken the exact same design or almost the exact same design of implement, lightened it by 30 pounds and made it a little bit less expensive to ship, a little bit less expensive to manufacture, and it really doesn't compromise any of the structural integrity. So I'm gonna talk about what it is, how you can use it, the pros, the cons, uh, how much it actually ends up costing, and whether or not I recommend this product. So this is a 48 inch long. It's four inches wide where the, sta the plates end up stacking up onto the uh, handles. And again, these are a top loading handle, which is different from a front loading handle. This is an example of a front loading handle. And there's advantages and disadvantages to each style of handle. So from a storage solution, these top loading handles, I'm sorry, these side loading handles are pretty easy to use because they can stand up in a standard barbell rack. Uh, it's also a little bit easier to use them, in my opinion, because as you pick them up, the weights tend to sit and rest against each other, the two handles. Uh, they don't necessarily stack up on each other because when you're walking with farmer implements, you tend to kind of walk like this. And so the plates on a top loading handle can kind of like stack up on top of each other and you can inadvertently cross the top of your implements. Not by much, but in my opinion, it's a little bit easier to get them all tangled up. In a front loading farmer handle, it's a little bit less the case. That's mainly due to the fact that you're not usually walking like this with farmer handle implements. And so they never have the opportunity to kind of link, uh, unless you're doing like a turn or something and you do it on purpose. But again, just wanted to show you guys that this is a front loading and that the Bartos one is a top loading. Uh, like I said, it's 48 inches long, four inches wide. It has 12 inches of loadable sleeve space per sleeve. And it has a one and a quarter inch handle, which specs out to be right at about 32 millimeters. The actual handle length, so the distance from this two inch upright to two, this two inch upright is seven inches. So you have seven inches worth of grabbable space and it's 16 inches from the floor to the bottom of the handle. So 16 inch pick height, 16 and a half inches to the middle of the handle. The handle itself has a textured powder coat on it. They are coated, but they, they kind of look like they're bare steel. But if you guys look on one of them, I put a very small scratch in the coating just to see if it was coated. Uh, it is coated with something. So the website claims that these things weigh 45 pounds a piece. When I threw them up onto my scale, which if you want to go ahead and look at the scale that I have, it's linked in the description box below. Uh, they come out right at like 44.3 pounds each. And they are the exact same between the two. But if we're talking about strongman implements, that's pretty close. A lot of the times these things are made, you know, one at a time. And if you've ever been involved in manufacturing or fabrication, you know that sometimes small variances in material can cause significant sways in weight uh, with the end result. But these spec out to be right about 45 pounds. One of the really cool things with that is it makes bar math super easy. The website claims it can hold as much as any human can hold, and after using it, I 100% believe that. So how can you actually use farmer implements? Well, obviously you can use it to do farmer's walks, first off. Uh, with a 16-inch pick height, you can also use it to do just normal deadlifts. It can be used by anybody just to do deadlift work. Obviously it's more of a rack pull, and it takes the bar from the front to the sides, but possibility there. You can also use it if you wanted to do shrugs. I mean, use your imagination on really what you want to do. Uh, you could probably do step ups with these. I bet you it'd be pretty challenging to do step ups, but you could do maybe some step ups. 
Uh, or if you just want to do static holds, oftentimes you'll see in competition they'll just have like a strongman static hold for time. All right, so let's just talk about the cons. Just want to talk about the cons, get that out of the way. There's only one that I could come up with. I've been using these things for about two weeks, and the only con I can come up with is the price of shipping. There's literally no other cons that I, I really have. It's just, it's expensive to ship. There are so many pros. Let's just start with the, the handle. So the handle is, like I said earlier, it's not a bare steel, it's actually a coating. Uh, and I'm sure that that's to do a, a couple of different things. The first thing is probably gonna be for a case of durability. Obviously, if there's a coating on here, you're not gonna have to worry about oxidation of the handle. Uh, also, it's referred to, so the coating that's on this handle is referred to on the website as a competitor favorite handle grit. And after using it, I, I'm telling you, there's just a little bit of grit to it, and it's nice. It's, it fits in the hands nicely. You can overgrip this thing. It just sticks beautifully. It takes chalk beautifully. No complaints. I mean, it's a handle. It's only a handle, right? So, like, how can it be so beautiful? But there's just something about it that it just feels perfect. Uh, aesthetically, they look nice. So if we flip these things around, you have the, the logo here, and this is like a vinyl cutout. And... So far, nothing seems to be peeling off. It's a textured powder coat all the way around the handle, and it sits handsomely off the ground. The feet are flush with the four inch side up here, which is really nice because you don't have to worry about dropping this thing. Uh, sometimes you'll see these implements, they'll have like a small one inch or two inch outgo, so it makes the feet wider. That wider foot probably makes it more stable when you're picking it up and putting it back down. Uh, but it also ends up being a hazard potentially to catch your toe or to catch the other handles or catch on something. So these ones, it's flush going down and it's probably just a two inch uh, rise from the floor to the bottom of the implement. Uh, it's obviously solid construction. So if you've ever had a bar test piece of equipment or ever used one, they're just really nicely done. And one of my favorite things that Bartos always does is he finishes off almost all of his end caps. Uh, this is actually finished off with some diamond plate, but he just takes the time, he puts in the effort. I mean, th these are hollow tubes, but they are finished off on the top, and they just, it makes it look complete. And it's one of those things I just really enjoy using. It looks good, nothing gets inside. I've had, so I live in Texas right now, I've literally had, in other brands' equipment, I've had like animals crawl out, and by animals I mean like bugs and and whatever, but I mean, you know, you can have things crawl out of your handles halfway through a lift. Not so much with these, everything is closed. Everything is welded, closed. Uh, that also increases the longevity of the equipment because moisture can't get into this handle and cause oxidation on the inside where you wouldn't see it. It's got nice welds. Obviously, Mike Bartos is using really good material and he is clearly meticulous it's it's clear in almost every single piece of equipment i've ever used from mb power center uh, he's just very particular he's very specific in what he's trying to do and he does it well let's talk about price real quick these things cost 285 dollars which if you're looking at farmer handle implements uh that's i mean that's really not that bad uh, if you were to go to Rogue and buy the front loading implements, similar to the ones that I have next to me right now, it's $185. If I'm being 100% honest, I really prefer top loading handles. And that extra $100, what you're getting is one, you're supporting a small business. You're getting finished end caps. You're getting finished tubes. You're getting, you know, a really nice grit on the handle. You're, you're getting a lot of thought, attention, and detail put into every single piece of equipment and it shows, and it's just something that you want to have. In my opinion, it's worth the extra $100. My main problem is that in order to ship these handles to me, it's $129 in one cent, just in shipping, which that's where it really hurts because now it's a $414 set of farmer's handles. For most people, I mean, oh gosh. Like I really feel like $414 shipped. Now mind you, that's Ohio to Texas, so that's a decent clip. But at $400, I think I would be uh, hard pressed to, to maybe reach out and get these. Now for $285 all day, every day, I would go up and I would buy these things. So really there's some solutions that you can do here. What we actually did for this order is we just reached out to MB Power Center 
and just said, hey, there's a few of us that want to put together a group order. And we all saved on shipping because we all just threw it all on one uh, massive group order. We worked with Mike Bartos. He was super accommodating. Hopefully he doesn't get mad that I'm telling people that we did this. Uh, but it made it cheaper for everybody. I like to think it made it easier for him because that's less shipments. I don't know if it actually made it easier for him, but he actually accommodated us and we got a pallet full of food bars, a pallet full of these handles, uh, a couple other pieces of equipment, and we only paid one freight charge for the whole thing. So maybe if you do a group order, uh, maybe if you're purchasing a lot of equipment from MB Power Center, uh, one of my favorites is I have family up in Ohio, so whenever I go visit Ohio, there's a really good chance I might stop by and pick a set of these up. So do I think it's worth it? I think it's worth $285. What I have a really hard time with is the $129 shipping. I know there's nothing that MB Power Center can do about that, but I just wish the shipping could be a little bit more reasonable. And like I said, just go pick them up. Like go pick them up there, do a group order, maybe reach out to your local strongman community. Uh, one of the nice things about MB Power Center is he's continuing to take orders right now. So even if he doesn't necessarily have stock of an item, you can still place an order and then you just wait the lead time, which the lead times are pretty low. But that's my review of the Pro Economy handles from the Mike Bartos Power Center. So tell me what you think down below. Do you think that these are worth it? Do you think $285 is a good price for a set of handles? Do you disagree with me? Agree with me? You know, tell me otherwise. Tell me down below. Uh, but that's been my video. I appreciate all of you guys watching. Please tune in next time for another review of some other piece of equipment. Watch some other videos that I posted from earlier, and I will see you guys in the next video.